to C12, January 2018, IAL. Question number 15, question about binomial expansion. Um, in this question, we are told that in ascending um, powers of x, 1 plus k x all to the power of n is given by the following 1 plus 36x plus 126k x squared, where k is a non-zero constant and n is a positive integer. Show that n times k times n minus 1 equals 252. Now, this is where I find the method of NCR okay, not so useful in this particular type of question when you don't know what the power is. It makes things more complicated. So there's a method which in your formula books is present, okay, where if you have a 1 here, which we do, which will make life easier, then the expansion of something which says 1 plus x to the power of n will be given by 1 plus n times x, where x is the whatever term is in this place, and n is the power, plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times that whatever that's in that place x squared plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times whatever is in that place of x cubed. Okay, now this is in your formula book and it just continues with the same pattern if you want to continue it further. You just keep putting n minus 2, then n minus 3 over 4 factorial times x to the power of 4 and so on. It continues in this, in this pattern. Okay? This is in, your, in the formula booklet for the exam. Okay? You won't find it in the new um, C12, the, the new P1 book. However, it is in, in the formula booklet and it's something which I prefer to use okay, when I'm doing binomial expansion because um, when you come to uh, the, the work in you know, A-level, A2 maths, P3 and P4 or C3, 4, you'll find that you'll have to use negative powers, which the NCR button won't help us with. And negative and fractional powers won't work with this, so we'll have to revert, revert to this later on anyway. So I would um, recommend that you learn this. And this makes life easier when we don't know what the power is like in this case. So they've told us that 1 plus k, 1 plus kx to the power of n, okay, will give us 1 plus 36x plus 126kx squared. So basically, we need to expand this up to x squared. Okay, so I'm going to use this form here. So we have a 1. There's a 1 here, so there's no problem. That'll be 1. Plus kx. Now, um, nx. nx means the power times whatever's in this position here. So it's n times n times sorry, n times um, kx. Okay, so it's that times this term plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1, which is 2, times kx squared. And we, we can stop there because we only need, as you can see, up to k squared. Okay, up to um, x squared. So let's simplify this. You have that's equal to 1 plus k times nx plus you have n uh, times n minus 1 over 2 times k squared times x squared. Okay, k squared times x squared. Now, it says that the expansion of this is equal to 1 plus, and it says uh, 36x, so 36x plus and it says 126kx squared, 126kx squared. So they've asked us to show that nk times n minus 1 equals 252. So basically, if we com compare the coefficient of x squared, okay, compare the coefficients of x squared, we can see that for the what well, we expanded, you get n times n minus 1 over 2 times k squared is equal to 126k. Okay. And we have to show that that becomes n times nk times n minus 1. So 
basically here, if we multiply both sides by 2, we'll have n times n minus 1 times k squared equals 2 times um, 26, 126, which is 252 times k. And if we divide, that's multiplying both sides by 2. If we also divide by k, okay, we can divide by k because we know that it's a non-zero constant. If we divide by k, you'll be left with n, oops, you'll be left with n times n minus 1 times k equals 252. And I think that's exactly what they ask us to show. n times n minus 1 times k equals 252. Okay, they just wrote the k next to the n there, which I, I can do here, so just to make it look the same, n times k times n minus 1 equals 252. Okay, that's as required. Okay, that's end of part A. Then it says, find the value of k and the value of n. Now, what we can do is, we can use the fact that the, so this is part A finished. Do I write A there? Yeah. And part B, we can use the coefficient of x, okay, in both of them. The coefficient of x in the first one is kn. So we can say kn, and in the second one, the coefficient of x is 36. Kn must equal 36, that means. Okay, Kn must equal 36. So I can replace the nk here with 36. I can take this 36 and substitute. I can say, like, this is one equation and this is equation 2. And I can replace the n times k with 36. So here I have 36 times n minus 1, okay, is equal to 252. So I can use this to find what n is. Why is Okay, because kn equals 36, because if you look at the x terms of our expansion and what they gave us, it's equal to the coefficient of x is 36 in what they gave us, and in our expansion the coefficient of x is kn, so n times k must be 36. Okay, so now we have n minus 1 is equal to 252 over 36. So 252 divided by 36 gives us 7. That means n is equal to 8. And if we know that kn equals 36, okay, so we say that k times 8 equals 36. So k must be 36 divided by 8. Okay, so 8 goes into 36, 4 8 to 32, remainder 4, so it's 4.5. K is equal to 4.5 and N is equal to 8. Okay, that's the answer to part B. And then it says, using the values of K and N, find the coefficient of X cubed in the binomial expansion of 1 plus K X to the power of N. So I'll just do this up here, where really you should do it in the other page. So we know that N is equal to n is equal to 8 so I can I can write this as 1 plus um, k which is 4.5 which I'll write as 9 over 2 times x to the power of 8 and I want to find the x cubed coefficient so I'm I just need this part of it here I just need the part n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times x cubed over 3 factorial so n is 8 so you got 8 times 7 times 6, that's n, n minus 1, n minus 2, over 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2, times whatever x is, which is 9 over 2, x, and that has to be raised to the power of 3. Okay? Because this is our expansion for the x cubed part. n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times x cubed over 3 factorial. Or we could use NCR once we know what these are. But I much prefer this. So 3 times 2 is 6. Cancel with that 6 there. 2 cubed is 8. Well, let me just do this in case we messed it up. Sometimes that gets messed up. So you've got 8 times 7 is 56. So you have 56 times. And you've got 9 cubed. Okay. 9 cubed. 9 cubed. Which gives you 729. Okay. Over 2 cubed, which is 8 
times x cubed. So 8 goes into 56 7 times. So you have 7 times 729. So this times 7. That gives you 5103 x cubed. 5103 103 times x cubed. Is that right? Uh, is that 3 factorial or 3 times 3? 3 factorial means 3. 3 factorial means, what does it mean? It means 3 times 2 times 1, which is the same as 3 times 2. Yes? Okay, so 5,103 x cubed should be, um, all right, it says find the coefficient of x cubed, so your answer should be written as 5,103. That's how you write your answer. Okay, because they just want the coefficient. But these steps should be shown really on the, on the next page. Okay, I've just done it up here just so that you can see the question in front of us. Okay, so there we have the answer to question number 15 from January 2018, C12.